I'm back. LTL Editorial News. Happy New Year, January 10th, 2012. Well, and finally, let's go back to Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria did what they were set out to do, and that's to have a call for a strike. That means all the stores and businesses were shutting down. And those who wasn't shutting down get stoned for it. All because of the oil prices that shot up last week. Matter of fact, last Wednesday night it shot up, which caused violence to erupt after the protest. It was peaceful at first and then it just broke out. And they said it was going to call, go on a strike as the president of the neighbor union was telling the government, Nigerian government, good luck gentlemen, Jonathan and others. Now, here's, here's the thing. All the oil prices in Africa had just got shot up. As I was bringing it up last year, that because of the situation that happened in Libya, and this is on a LTL perspective, because if you ever look at all Libya and you see the pipelines how it goes through Africa it starts from the top which is coming from Libya and so much that the cargo ships come over there and and really deposit uh, fuel themselves and get some if they want to but they really de uh, deposit it into Libya to bring it all the way down. How would it get oil from uh, really that part and East Africa? Now East Africa had to use uh, the tankers and really from Saudi and from Kuwait, you might as well add Kuwait into it to get the uh, cargo and then the, the deposit oil. Now Yes, Africa does have, uh, they are rich in oil, but it has been being depleted. Being depleted. Because that bring on the one that it is true based on other interests, especially from the Western countries also from Europe and others who want to come, Exxon, Shell, come and have interest and then to make agreement with the government and then they get oil and use it for their commodities. Well, the oil is a primary, the secondary is what they use to redefine and, and develop a lot of things, even clothes or wherever, wherever they want to make out of it. But, or different types of uh, petroleum that they can be used. So, here it is, uh, Nigeria, just like um, other parts of Africa, yeah, they make deals with them, but does it help the people of Africa. It really hurt. It really hurt Nigeria. And that's why they going on strike, which is the right call to go on strike. Uh, to protest is the right thing. To have violence is the wrong thing, of course. It's always wrong. Violence leads to violence. As Boko Haram. But the thing is, because of that fuel prices going up, 
because fuel prices went up in Kenya where I was there reportedly and also other places Uganda they trying to protect theirs Libya or oh, NATO just took out Gaddafi freezes assets so that means the oil cannot be uh, really use export or uh, have any money being uh, made over there only within Libya so the thing is going back to Nigeria yes Nigeria should have a right to strike they should the key thing is it's happening all over Africa so they all getting hurt so Barry Grin it's just a part of the prophecy that is happening with global economics that the recession is causing Western countries and other countries to come dig the rest of the oil from Africa. So much for oil barons. This is LTL for tomorrow. Sue Kai. Hey, she want to go for a nomination for a, a, a parliament seat. Let's see how it works. Also, other things, the uh, Republican uh, election as it goes to New Hampshire. For tomorrow, this is LTL and the LTL editorial news for January 10th. Happy New Year, maybe just a new year, 2012. Sounding! Plus I have Blog Talk Radio coming up soon. Sunny!